Hi YouTube! So I'm gonna be doing a Dollar Tree DIY today. The easiest DIY ever as I always say. At least always I do think it's gonna be very quick and easy. This is like when I think about it it is very easy. So all I will need is a Dollar Tree frame. I picked one with this dark brown color and some gold on it because I also picked those ads and they are kind of goldish I don't know they have like this it's easier to show you than to try to explain it so like this gold shimmer on them let's say so I will need those without the sticks you can use any like Easter egg you want you know so I'm gonna be taking out the sticks and you know it's Dollar Tree when you see like this glue coming out and I'm sure yeah they are very easy to take off the stick so I will keep the sticks as always I'm sorry about this one this is my lamp <laughs> so, but I really can't change it. I want my video to be bright and not too dark. However, I will also need some moss and this is a leftover from Valentine's Day DIY and a piece of brown paper or you can just like, you know, turn around the paper inside of the frame and I wanted to look in a certain way so I'm gonna be just using a piece of cardstock in the back I want to start out by taking out the glass because yeah <laughs> I can't use it I don't need it I will keep it because you know I might want to use this frame as a <laughs> picture frame from one day so I will just put it aside and then I will put this piece of paper in there and I will have to cut it and I burned myself again oh my god I will have to cut it like to size I'll just put this piece of paper in the back also because whatever <laughs> it just makes everything a little bit more sturdy So this is what I got. Now I want to use the eggs on top of it and I want to spell out spring so I'm gonna need six of those and they have them in bigger and smaller sizes so I picked the smaller ones. Wow this is too easy. <laughs> It's like I don't even know why they put <laughs> glue on it because it does not really work. <laughs> you can just pull them out like that. So I like I said, I want to spell out spring like this. So it's basically that's basically it. I will have the eggs there and I will put some moss underneath and I know that moss is very messy so I'm gonna be using a piece of newspaper because I'm lazy and I don't want to clean afterwards <laughs> I will put it in the piece of newspaper and once I'm done I will just fold it and throw it away <laughs> so <laughs> and I hope it's not gonna be too messy afterwards so now I want to take the moss and I want to glue it like this and like semi-circle it's not even it's just not straight a little bit like in the round shape and I really hope I can manage to glue it you know that most of it stays on because I don't want it to fall off I will just try I mean if I don't try to do that I won't know <laughs> so let's see if it works out Now, 
Now I'm sure that the upper part will fall off once I turn it, but this is kind of what I want so I can see what else I have to glue on it. Oh, you know, it's not that bad. I see that this part is not glued at all. Because moss is very lightweight, you know, it's gonna stay on it. I just want to make sure that all the strings of the glue are gone because, you know, I don't want it to look messy and cheap, I guess. I don't know how to call that. I'm going to shake it so the little bits and pieces do fall off. You know, once I have it on my fireplace, I don't want them to fall off then, right? And nobody's going to like move it around, so once it's on there, it's on there. So this doesn't look too bad. This is kind of what I'm going for, like this messy semi-circle shape. So this stays on there now, and I did not use too much glue, I don't know. I will see if the eggs are going to rip the upper part off and I have to glue more. But I'm just going to try and like glue one egg down. As you can see, this stays on. So and I'm going to spell out spring, like I said. So we'll start with the first and the last one. Then I can see like how I have to do the rest of it. And after each one, I'm going to like make sure that they aren't falling off because I don't want them to fall off later once I'm done. But I'm not going to go in like a straight line because see, this is straight and it kind of looks weird. When I put them like higher and lower, I think it looks better. So I'm going to do just that. So I'm turning this like around because I really want to see if it's going to stay on. I don't want it to fall off later. And it is. So we are basically done. Actually, you can either leave it like that and maybe I should have done it before I stack them down. But I also want to spell out the word spring on top of them. And you can spell out Easter, but I am probably going to make another DIY where I spell out Easter and I really don't want everything like to be saying Easter. Spring and Easter is, you know, kind of connected. <laughs> so, and I will be using the green letters from the Dollar Tree. First of all, because it's a Dollar Tree DIY, I didn't want to use like something different. And the second thing is there is greenery in the back and it's brown and gold so I don't really want to go with some pink or you know I would put gold in it but the eggs are gold already so I'm not gonna do that so I pick green you know what's funny like I speak German right I said this already <laughs> and <laughs> For me, we spell the word spring just in the same way and it means jump. <laughs> so I'm going to have this up and it means jump. <laughs> it doesn't mean spring, <laughs> it means jump. Okay, now I want to make sure that it's all like on it and you know, nothing is falling off because this is it. I'm not going to be doing anything else to it. I also want to see that, you know, there is no hot glue residue. And I am missing a little piece of greenery right here, so I'm going to put some right there. Because I think it's a little bit bold. So yes, this one is done. And I picked a bigger frame. 
at the Dollar Tree because I wanted it to be a little bigger. You can, you know, go with the smaller frame and just like very small eggs. So you can do that too. But for me, I wanted to do it this way. And I'm just going to use it like a picture. I know for you it's hard to see. So let me sh see if I can. I don't think I can do anything because my tripod is too high. But yeah, it's going to be like standing up like this. So you get the idea. And as you can see, there is like I can shake it, I can turn it, whatever I do, nothing is falling off. So just make sure that you have enough glue underneath. And it's like I said, very lightweight. So, my first Easter DIY. And I'm kind of late, I think, because, you know, Easter is like in what, two weeks or something. But that's all right. I'm going to hurry up now. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this one. Very easy, very quick. And the good thing about all of this and my newspaper underneath is that it will just like clean up in a blink of an eye <laughs> and I'm done I have a little tiny bit here but that's okay you know cleaning up after you craft is the worst thing ever <laughs> but you probably know that so yeah however I hope you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up if you liked it and yeah try to do it or let me know if you what you decorated already or about your DIYs follow me on Facebook and Instagram I have like I said I'm gonna say it in each video for right now I have a new PO box so it will be down below my old one is still there for the next couple weeks maybe a week or two I'm not sure and then I will just cancel it but the new PO box is so much closer to me so and it's bigger so they do not fold the letters you know the other one was very small however i hope you enjoyed it and i see you for the next one you have a great day bye bye